All right, Candy back here. Okay, Cryptic, I have been through hell and back with this ROM hack in practice runs, and you have successfully pissed me off. I, I hope you're happy. You have successfully pissed me off. Anyways, I figured out what I was supposed to do with this. This could have gone one of two ways. Either you brought the P-Switch from back over where the uh, three little jumping piranha plants are and uh, go to the spot right above that block that I'm looking at on screen right now and, you know, hit the P-Switch and make the charging chucks come down to you and hurt you. Fortunately, I got lucky, and why I was big, I managed to get hit on the third flying piranha plant that, was, that wasn't originally there due to sprite limitations. Again, work on those sprite limitations. I know you say you're trying to abuse sprite limitations, but dude, that's not a good idea. If you're planning on going public with this, you're definitely going to want to either, you know, tone down the level difficulty or, you know, work out some of these bugs, if not both. Anyways, let's get back to the game. And again, I'm getting slow down, which is never good. Yeah, I got lucky hitting that one on the way down. Crap. Okay. Don't know why this is here, but, uh, okay. Oh, no! You wouldn't do a Kaizo trap, would you? You son of a bitch! Be right back. I'm gonna try and figure this out. Alright. Alright. Okay. I went through Lunar Magic to see what exactly this level completely filled out looked like. And looking through it, I think we've got a problem here. There is no way, as, if you're going to get through the entire level as Big Mario, because you're going to need to be Big Mario to avoid the Kaizo Trap at the very end. So, I've tried everything, and unless, like, there was more time, which there isn't, there's no way to get through this level. I'm sorry, but... Because it takes a while for you to duck down as Big Mario and get under those one-space jumps. Which, by the way, those one-space jumps can be really annoying, by the way. Um, but by the time I even get to where the bullet bills are, even on my fastest run, there's still not enough time. So, what I would consider, what you should consider doing for this is allow a little bit more time if, if you want to um, have your player get through this without pulling their damn hair out. Because, I'm going to be honest, it got me pissed off. It got me very, very pissed off. But, um, yeah, like I said earlier, if you're going to want to go public with this, you might want to tone down a little on the difficulty, but that's just my personal opinion. So, I'm going to check Lunar Magic to see if there was any levels after this, because if there's not, then this ROM hack review is done. So, if I make another video... That'll be why. So anyways, guys, until next time, this is Gaming God 90 signing out. No, wait, 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 wait. I did have one more thing I wanted to say directly to you, Cryptic. If you're going to give me a level, make sure that it's actually playable 
and able to be beaten before you give it to me. I think my theory is that you might have, you know, overlooked that and just made an extremely hard level. If you're going to send me something, please, please do me the courtesy of playtesting it first to make sure it can be beaten. Okay, thank you. Good night.